Hey, this is Leo for Actualize.org, and in this video, we're going to talk about bad habits. Specifically, how do you drop a bad habit? All right, let's talk bad habits. What are they? Why do they happen? And really in this video what I want to do is I want to take you through a process that will help you to begin to drop your bad habit for good. So bad habits, what do we have to say about this? Well, I think that we got to start by taking a look at some of the examples of what bad habits are and what they're doing in your life. Personally for me, I've really struggled with a couple of habits. Uh, I have to go back and really dig into my past to unearth some of these because I've already forgotten that I've dropped them and they were such negative habits for me. My biggest negative habits were overeating and watching television and playing video games. So these three habits just took root when I was growing up and I was very overweight my whole life and I watched enormous quantities of television, wasted so much of my time doing that and also spent a lot of hours uh, playing video games and wasted a lot of my life doing that. So those three things were really something I had to overcome in order to start to move towards a self-actualized kind of life that I am really living in right now and that I'm shooting for even even higher uh, levels of it as I'm going forward in the you know, next few years and and onwards. So with you, your negative habits might be the same or they might be different, but in the end it doesn't really matter what the bad habit is, it's all the same thing. Uh, it's all you relying on something to give you emotional support, emotional stimulation, a crutch if you will. So this might be hardcore drugs, this might be pot, this might be food, this might be alcohol, this might be partying, this might be the internet or television or video games or porn or any number of other negative habits. Besides just those obvious ones, there's also more subtle ones. These are all very obvious types of habits and a lot of them are socially unacceptable, but then you've got the more socially acceptable ones. For example, constant gossiping and criticizing or being a, a cynic or being a pessimist or getting angry at people, getting mad at people, being passive aggressive, biting your nails. These are like smaller habits that are still um, very toxic to your life. So you might want to get rid of those. And if you do, then this video is perfect for you because I'm going to go into what it takes to actually start to do this. Because the biggest challenge, of course, is that we all have bad habits and a lot of us know that we have them, but then when we try to drop them, what happens? We try and then we fall off track and then we get back into the groove of that bad habit again. And that's literally what a bad habit is. It's a groove in your brain that's just been etched through repetition, through conditioning. And now that groove is running and you're running along that track and it's hard to switch tracks now. To switch tracks is going to require something of you, some sort of extra effort and extra awareness, extra attention. Consciousness is required to do this and also some commitment, some dedication and some willingness to go through the work. So in order to do that, you need to really get in touch with your motivation, why you're doing this. So the most important thing to consider when you're trying to drop a bad habit is uh, asking yourself, why am I even trying to drop it? Now this might seem simple and obvious in some cases, but not always is that the case. Sometimes you want to drop it just because of some sort of extrinsic motivating factor. Like maybe someone is disapproving of you for doing it or because you think that it would be the right thing to do uh, for your family or for your friends or for somebody else in order to kind of fit in. So that's you stuck in groupthink. Uh, that's not a very good and motivating reason. Instead of what you want is you want to tap into you know, why this is destroying your life. Why it's holding you back from your greatest potential in life. That's what's really important. Once you get in touch with that, then you can really start to let it go. You're going to have the emotional leverage to do it. And I'm going to take you through an exercise at the end of this video. It's going to get you a lot of emotional leverage. So stick with me for that. Okay, the next point is that you have to take full responsibility for your bad habit. A lot of people, they'll have a bad habit and then they'll blame it on others. They'll play the victim. This is not going to work if you want to drop it. You only really have two choices in life. You can play the victim and stay stuck or you can accept full responsibility, bite the bullet and be willing to do whatever it takes to fix the problem. And then that's how a winner is made. That's how somebody goes out there and ma makes radical changes in their lifestyle and really improves their life a lot because they're taking lots of responsibility. So you can't blame others for your habit. If you're getting angry all the time, that's not other people. 
or your work situation, that's you. If you are, are drinking all the time, that's not because you have a bad job or your family is depressing you or uh, your friends are causing you trouble. It's not that, it's you. You've got the drinking problem, all right? And if you are watching television all the time and you're playing video games and you're stuck at home and you're not really living in a, a rich and full life, that's also not anything to do with the media or society or the fact that you're tired after work. No, that's, that's you. You're responsible for that. So take full responsibility. You have to do that. Otherwise, there is no chance for you to succeed here. And the next point is that you have to believe that you can. That's another place where people trip up is that they, they will come and they'll say, well, I've got this bad habit and I've tried, I've tried, I've tried, but it's not possible for me. So now I'm just kind of stuck with it and they'll stay now stuck and they'll start complaining and complaining about all this bad stuff that's coming from this bad habit. They'll complain a lot, but they don't actually believe that they can change. See, if you don't believe that you can change, then, I mean, how can you? You're basically screwed right off the bat. You're screwing yourself over from achieving a big life because with that kind of mindset, then you're only going to be doing the things that you think you can. And it's very, very limited thinking. In fact, your capabilities and your potential in life is so much more than you realize, than you imagine. And yet, you sell yourself so short. And you always tell yourself that you can't do this, you can't do that, it's too hard, it's a struggle. You know what? You have to let that stuff go because either you're going to be a complainer in life or you're going to be a winner. And a winner is someone who goes at the challenge again and again and again until it breaks. Even if you try to quit smoking, 10 times, that doesn't mean that it won't work on the 11th time. You gotta try again. If you tried dropping television and replacing it with something healthy like reading, and that hasn't been working for you, and you've tried that five times, go and try it a sixth time, right? This is the kind of mindset that you need to make this happen. Because with a lot of these habits, it probably won't be dropped on the first attempt. It might take you two, three, five, ten 10 attempts to do it. But you know what? It's still worth it because this habit is robbing you of so much in your life, and I'm gonna show you that in a minute. All right, the next point is law of attraction. If you're familiar with law of attraction, what it means is simply that you need to focus on the things that you want in life rather than the things you don't want. So you tend to attract whatever you think and focus on. And if you're focusing on good stuff, you'll be attracting that. If you're focusing on negative stuff and the stuff that you don't like about your life, you'll be attracting more of that as well. So now let's apply that, that law to breaking a bad habit. What would that mean? Well, that means that instead of just breaking a bad habit and then sitting around and doing nothing or replacing it with some other bad habit, what you want to do is you want to shift your attention on something good and positive that you're doing with your life. So either instilling an opposite good habit or just having something else that you're going to be doing with that spare time. That's a lot of times where people go wrong when they're trying to fix a bad habit is that they'll do everything right, but then they're, now they have all this free time and their attention is just like let left to sit and to wander and to be idle. And you know the old saying that in idols, uh, uh, idle hands do the devil's work. Well, that is literally the case here, is that when you don't have a, an important uh, mission in your life, when you have no big, empowering, positive goals, then of course your life is gonna be filled with bad habits. That's probably why you got into this mess in the first place, is that you didn't really have anything good or positive that you were doing in your life. So for example, instead of overeating all the time, and going to restaurants and spending a lot of time and money on restaurants and eating out and eating four meals a day or three meals a day or whatever like that. Uh, if you want to drop the eating addiction that you have, maybe now you commit yourself to something else that you're doing. Maybe now instead of eating out all the time, you're going to be spending more time with your kids or you're going to be spending more time on that side project that you were doing for your business that you wanted to launch. Or you're going to spend more time in your relationship or you're gonna go and pick up a new hobby. Maybe you're gonna go mountain climbing and hiking, doing something active, some sort of sport. See, when you have some sort of active activity that you're doing, it's gonna take your attention away from the fact that you're um, not filling yourself with food. And of course, this applies to every other negative habit that you've got, especially stuff like television and video games. The reason you're playing video games so much and the reason that you're so immersed in television, you're wasting hours and hours on television is because really you have nothing else to do. You have nothing better to do. See, like for me, I've got like a business that I want to build. I've got big ambitions. So for me to sit and spend even an hour watching television, my brain will tell me no way. Like there's no way I'm doing that. I need to be reading. I need to be, uh, I need to be contacting people. I need to be shooting videos. I need to be 
working on marketing. I have so many things I want to be doing, plus I have relationships I want to be in. So I'm always strapped for time because I set big ambitious goals for myself. So you need to have some of those as well. So whatever your habit is, decide right now what you're going to replace it with or what you're going to do with the time that's going to be free. Okay, good. The next point is commitment. You really need to commit 100% to a habit. Uh, you've probably realized this before because you've tried to drop bad habits in your life and they ha it hasn't worked. That's because there's this hump, right? There's this hump that you have to get over, this expenditure of massive energy you have to get over and it takes about 30 days to put in all that energy and then you can start to coast with your habit because the, the new habits and the new routines get conditioned in your mind. But right now, you're gonna have to put in energy and that's gonna take commitment from you. And the best way to commit is 100%. See, a lot of times what people will do is they'll make a 90% commitment or a 95% commitment, or even a 99% commitment. Well, they'll say, well, okay, I'm really gonna try. I'm really gonna try. And they tell themselves they're really gonna try to go to the gym, or they're really gonna try to stop eating so much bad food, or they're really gonna try to stop smoking. But see, that's kind of a, uh, that's a, it's a really, really disempowering way to go about building and breaking habits. That's because that 1% is enough for your brain to then start coming up with excuses. And it creates this slippery slope where one excuse comes and then you kind of say, oh, okay, yeah, maybe today I shouldn't really go to the gym because it's a holiday. And so you don't go to the gym because it's a holiday. And then the next day, it, it continues. That slippery slope continues and your brain says, well, if I didn't go one day, what's, what's wrong with missing two days? So you miss two days, then you miss three days and all of a sudden you stop going to the gym completely. And the same thing with any other habit. So you have to be, you have to be pretty disciplined. You have to be committed, right? You have to tell yourself that you're gonna do this no matter what. That is how I broke my food addiction, is really I had to use a lot of harsh discipline with myself, which is not always the best approach, but sometimes it is a good approach. When you really have a hard addiction, like with food or a drug or something like that, especially chemical, you, you sometimes really have to like tell yourself that no, like God damn it, no, this is it, this is the end of it. So that's actually what I wanna help you do right now, is I want to help you tap into this commitment of why you wanna be dropping this habit. And the way we do that is we're gonna do a little visualization exercise and I want you to follow along with me. As I'm talking to you, you're gonna sit back and close your eyes, all right? And I'm gonna take you through this exercise. It's gonna get you in touch with the motivation you need to get the leverage to really start to take some action on this bad habit that has been plaguing you. Okay, so let's do that right now. Go ahead and sit back and close your eyes and relax and keep your back up straight. Good, so as you're doing that and your eyes are closed, just listen along and follow along and use your imagination and follow what I'm saying. So your eyes are closed now. Go ahead and take a nice deep breath in. And then exhale. And as you're exhaling, release all the tension from your body. Good. Get in touch with your body. Really feel your body. Notice it. Notice every part. Good, now take another deep breath in. And exhale, and relax your body even more as you're exhaling. Good, feel the rest of your body, feel all the other parts of your body that you haven't felt yet. Good, now let's take one more deep breath in and as you breathe in and then exhale, on the exhale you're gonna release every muscle in your body, you're gonna let it completely relax and go loose. Ready? Good. So now really get in touch with your body. Get in touch with the soles of your feet. Feel the soles of your feet. Feel the tips of your toes. Feel your legs. And feel your butt on the cushion or the surface that you're sitting on. Feel your back muscles. Feel your shoulder muscles. Feel your hands and feel all the way into your fingertips. Now feel the muscles in your neck and relax those. And move that awareness of the muscles in your neck up into the muscles in your face. And as you're feeling all your facial muscles, relax all of those too. Good. Now you should be really relaxed and really in touch with your entire body. Notice how you're breathing. 
just at a nice, even, steady pace. Keep your attention on that. Good, perfect. Now we're gonna do a little visualization exercise. Keep your eyes closed and follow along. What I want you to do is I want you to imagine that bad habit that's really plaguing you, that you would like to drop. Really picture it. Picture how it plays itself out throughout the day. Picture how it plays itself out throughout the week. Now, I want you to imagine that this habit isn't going anywhere. That this habit is going to stay and is stuck with you forever for the rest of your life. And I want you to imagine what the next month will look like of this bad habit continuing to act and act and act itself out. Imagine all the pain that's involved with that. Imagine the disappointment you see in others. Imagine how disappointed you are in yourself. The guilt. Whatever this is costing you. Good. Now let's project that a year into the future. Imagine a year goes by and this negative habit is stuck with you. It's not changing. You're not changing it. And it's been acting for a whole year, every single day, 365 days. Imagine what the cost of that is tallied up for 365 days. All the struggle, all the pain. Good. Now let's project that five years into the future. Imagine five years goes by and you change nothing about this habit. This bad habit is with you and in fact it's getting even stronger because that negative habit tends to get worse and worse if you don't work on it. Now imagine five years worth of all the negative accumulation of the effects and the repercussions of this negative habit. How does it affect your work? How does it affect your family? How does it affect your own psychology? How does it make you feel about yourself to be so weak? Okay, now let's project this 10 years into the future. Imagine 10 years of this negative habit working on you and working on your life. What does your life look like 10 years from now from the ravages of this bad habit? What is going to happen if you keep doing what you've been doing? Really picture it. That's the real cost. Okay, good. Now clear that image out of your mind. Maybe think of something else, totally irrelevant. You might think of sucking on a crisp, cold lemon wedge, feeling the sourness on your tongue. That'll be a little bit of a palate cleanser for you. Okay, good. So keep your eyes closed. And now we're going to move on to the second part of this visualization. Now what I want you to do is I want you to clear your mind and I want you to think about the new habit that you're putting into place to replace this bad habit. What's the good habit? What are you going to be doing with all that time? And I want you to imagine that new habit operating on you every single day for the next week. What would it look like just for the next week for you to be doing that new habit and no longer doing the old one? How would it feel? How would you feel about yourself? Would you have more energy? Would you feel more successful? Would you be more caring? Would you be more conscious? Good. Now let's take that and project that out to a whole month. 30 days. For 30 days you're doing this. Good habit. How does it make you feel to do 30 days of it? 30 straight days of this accumulating positive effect of the good habit. How does it make you feel about yourself? What does it do for your life? How does it free up your life from all those negative emotions? What kind of opportunities does it open for you? Good. Now let's take that and project it a year into the future. Imagine 365 days 
have passed and you have been on this good habit for 365 days. Imagine how much you accomplish during that time. The kind of gains you make in that domain where you're practicing this new activity. What kind of gains do you make? What kind of, what kind of successes does this lead to? What kind of rewards does it create? Both physical rewards, but also emotional rewards. How proud do you feel of yourself for doing it for that long? Good. Now let's project it out five years into the future. Imagine you were doing this for five years, this positive habit. How much benefit have you received from it? Can you see all the little gradual accumulations and how big those have grown? How much they've expanded and completely transformed your life? How proud you feel of yourself for having done this? Good. Now let's project this 10 years into the future. Imagine 10 years from now, you've been on this positive habit for every single day for 10 years. Picture all the accumulated positive effects. Feel how you would feel. Feel how proud you would feel if you did this for 10 years straight. Think of how this affects every area of your life, from your work to your relationships to your family. Think about how inspirational you would be to everyone around you if you actually were able to do this. And you could share the success of your story with them and inspire them to also do the same in their lives, improve their lives in the ways that, that you improved yours. Good. So go ahead and wrap that up at your own pace. Finish that visualization, bask in it a little bit. And at your own pace on the count of three, you are going to come out and come back to me nice and refreshed and feeling good. So here is the count. One, two, three. All right. Welcome back. How do you feel? I hope that felt good, right? This exercise is called future projection both negative and positive future projection. That's what we did here. We helped get you some leverage over your bad habit. You saw the costs, the real costs of staying on this negative track. And you also saw the real benefits of putting yourself on a new, more positive track. Right now, because you are in this state where you are receptive and you are engaged, right? You're ready. This is the time they have to commit. I want 100% commitment from you that you are going to drop this bad habit. We know how toxic it is to your life. We also know how much it's costing you in terms of all the potential that you have, all the dreams that are going unfulfilled because of it. It's weighing you down so much. Commit right now 100%, not 99, 100% that you're going to do no matter what to make this work. All right? No matter what, no matter how many times you have to try, you're going to do it and you're going to give it your best. All right? This is Leo. I am signing off. This is what I have to say about bad habits. Go ahead and post me your comments down below. Also, go ahead and like this. Click the like button right now if you liked it. Share this with a friend or maybe throw it on Facebook. And then, of course, come check out my newsletter at actualize.org where I'm releasing new videos every single day, every single week, new articles, exclusive content for my subscribers, I'm publishing lots of videos on YouTube, and then I'm sharing it with my subscribers on the newsletter, other exclusives that I have planned for you guys, bonuses for signing up. It's really an awesome newsletter. What I'm giving you is I'm giving you some of the best nuggets of the wisdom that I found on my own journey to self-actualize, on my own journey to create an extraordinary life and master my own psychology, my own thought process, right? So what are the mindsets and the techniques that you need to do that? That's what I'm trying to share with you. And I do that on a weekly basis so that you're always up to date and you're slowly chipping away at it and you're constantly growing in your life. If you really want to be growing, if you want to really create profound changes and transformations in your life, then this is the way to do it. It's to slowly start to chip away at it and use these techniques because what I've found, these mindsets are some of the most powerful mindsets that I've researched in the last five years. And you definitely want to know about them and you want to keep them fresh in your mind and keep yourself updated on that stuff. So go ahead and check that out. It is free.